हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुंड प्रधान वेलकम टू इलेक्ट चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लॉक्स लेट्स बिगेन इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लॉक्स मे बी डिफाइंड एज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक लाइन्स ऑफ फोर्स दैट क्रॉसिंग ए गिवेन एरिया व्हिच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द इलेक्ट्रिक लाइन्स ऑफ फोर्स इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लॉक्स is the number of electric lines how much number of electric lines of force is passed through a particular given area and that area which is perpendicular to the electric lines of force let me consider a closed surface and the closed surface s placed in a uniform electric field let you take the uniform electric field the uniform electric field a vector let us consider a small area element we consider here a small area element that is ds vector and the direction of ds vector that is e vector and ds vector the angle between ds and e that is theta let we take the angle between the electric field and the surface area element ds is theta look at here there uh, will be a confusion regarding how the area is perpendicular to the electric lines of force and uh, the angle between ds and e so if that is uh, the surface and the electric lines of force are passed in that scenario we say that surface area is perpendicular to that of electric lines of force and the area vector the direction of area vector is parallel to that of electric field but when the surface area looks like this in this way in that scenario we say the electric lines of force is parallel to that of surface area but at that case the ds vector direction is upward and the angle between e vector and ds vector is perpendicular that's a little bit confusion in between these two ds the area and ds vector okay now we have to calculate the electric flux here we take the electric flux crossing this small area ds now the electric flux crossing this area ds vector is given as means how much number of electric lines of force are passed through that of ds vector region we take it as d phi with the electric flux electric flux mathematically that is e vector dot ds vector therefore the total electric flux therefore total electric flux 
passing through surfaces is given by d phi is the electric flux passing through the surface area ds now the total flux passing through that of closed surface s we integrate that is integration of d phi surface integration of e dot d s or phi with the total electric flux passing through that of surface s is given by the surface integration over e dot d s if that surface area is closed one then what happen that surface integration change to closed surface integration if surface area is closed surface then total electric flux passing through this area is given by is given by phi is equal to closed surface integration over s e dot ds okay the total flux passing through that of closed surfaces there are the various kind of uh, special cases special cases special cases if the angle between ds and e that is theta if theta is less than 90 degree then what happened the flux is positive then phi is positive similarly if theta is equal to 90 degree then the flux is zero there will be no such electric lines of force passing through that of closed surface then if uh, theta is uh, greater than 90 degree means the angle is obtuse then phi is negative looking at this three possible cases for a closed surface if the angle between e and ds is acute angle between e and ds is acute that is less than 90 degree that indicates E vector is directed outward. E vector means electric field or electric lines of force directed outwards. An angle between E 
E and D S is uh, octaves. that is greater than 90 degree then what happened e is directed inward e directed inward here the flux is positive here the flux is negative means for closed surface electric flux is positive if electric field E directed outwards and electric flux is negative if electric field is directed inward here the maximum flux will pass to the closed surface when D s is perpendicular to E, when D s is perpendicular to E vector, D s is perpendicular to E vector then the flux is maximum, then flux is maximum at the important point when d s vector is perpendicular to e vector then flux is maximum maximum number of electric flux is passed through that of closed surface e dot d s is maximum means cos theta will be 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 cos 0 is equal to 1 in the sense E and D s vector are parallel with each other. E and D s vector is parallel with each other means electric lines of force is perpendicular to that of closed surface area. In, in that of case D s vector and E vector are parallel with each other. Okay. These are the possible scenarios. Now, we have to introduce a new term that is electric flux density electric flux density what is electric flux density if we calculate we know that the electric field intensity at a point electric field intensity at point which is at distance r smaller due to due to charge q charge q is given by e vector is equal to that is electric field intensity due to that charge q at a distance r that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space q divided by r square into r cap. Now, epsilon is multiplied here. So, epsilon naught into E vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi r square that is q divided by 4 pi r square r cap or epsilon naught into E that is the d vector which is known as electric flux density and given by q by 4 pi r square into R cap that is the electric flux density where D is equal to epsilon naught E vector 
electric flux density electric flux density. So, with the help of this visual action we understand what is electric flux. Electric flux is a scalar quantity since that is nothing that is a number and mathematically we derive how we have to calculate the electric flux throughout a closed surface. This is a mathematical relation and various special cases at what conditions the electric flux is maximum or minimum and finally, definition of electric flux density. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.